We've all been there. You're settling into your airplane seat, and right before takeoff, the flight attendant reminds everyone to switch their phones to airplane mode. Maybe you obediently comply, or maybe you secretly wonder, what's the worst that could happen if I don't? Airplane mode is one of those things most of us turn on without thinking too much about it. But what actually happens when you activate it? Does it really affect the plane? And if it does, why is it even an option to turn off? Let's dive deep into the mystery of airplane mode and see what's really going on behind the scenes, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, airplane mode is like a giant off switch for your phone's wireless communications. The moment you turn it on, your phone stops sending and receiving signals from cell towers, Wi-Fi networks, and Bluetooth devices. Essentially, it cuts off all forms of wireless connectivity. However, your phone itself isn't really off. You can still use apps that don't require internet, listen to downloaded music, play offline games, or even take photos. Some newer devices even allow Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to be manually switched back on while in airplane mode, but more on that later. The rule about using airplane mode on flights comes from concerns about electronic interference. Airplanes rely on a lot of communication and navigation systems, and in the early days of mobile technology, there were concerns that phone signals could interfere with them. Now, here's where it gets interesting. There's no solid proof that a single phone signal can take down an aircraft's systems. However, the issue isn't one phone. It's the cumulative effect of potentially hundreds of passengers leaving their phones on. The concern is that the combined signals could create radio interference, causing static or disruptions in the pilot's communication with air traffic control. Even though modern airplanes are much better shielded against interference, aviation authorities like the Federal Aviation Administration and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency still enforce the rule as a precaution. So, does your phone really pose a danger to the aircraft? Probably not in a catastrophic way, but it could be annoying for pilots and air traffic controllers. Imagine being in an important phone call, but in the background, you keep hearing buzzing and interference. That's what can happen when too many phones are left on and searching for signals at once. Additionally, since your phone is constantly trying to connect to cell towers as the plane moves, it actually drains battery faster. So even if you don't care about airplane safety, Turning on airplane mode saves your phone's battery life during a flight. When you activate airplane mode, your phone's behavior changes in a few key ways. No cell signal, your phone stops trying to connect to cell towers, meaning no calls, texts, or mobile data. No Wi-Fi, unless you turn it back on. By default, Wi-Fi turns off, but many planes now offer in-flight Wi-Fi which you can reconnect to manually. No Bluetooth, unless you turn it back on. Bluetooth also gets disabled, but you can usually switch it back on for things like wireless headphones. Longer battery life. Since your phone isn't constantly searching for signals, it conserves battery power. One little known fact, even if your phone is on, but in airplane mode, it still periodically pings nearby networks, just at a much lower frequency. This is why some emergency alerts or texts may still come through under certain conditions. Can you actually use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in airplane mode? Yes! Most modern devices allow you to manually turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth back on while staying in airplane mode. Airlines now offer in-flight Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth is often permitted for wireless headphones. So, if you were worried about losing access to your favorite playlist or podcast, don't be. Just switch Bluetooth back on, and you're good to go. However, 
cellular data remains locked unless airplane mode is disabled completely. Do airlines still care about airplane mode? This is a hot topic. While technology has improved significantly, airlines still enforce the rule. However, some countries are starting to relax their restrictions. The European Union, for example, has recently allowed airlines to offer 5G connectivity in flight. This means that in the future, airplane mode might not even be necessary anymore, at least in certain regions. But for now, most airlines still ask passengers to switch it on. Even if it's just to prevent minor interference, it's a small inconvenience for the sake of smoother communication for the pilots and crew. If you accidentally leave your phone on and connected to a cellular network, it's not like alarms will go off in the cockpit. However, your phone will keep searching for towers at high altitudes, which can cause unnecessary network congestion. Some airlines have onboard systems that detect active cellular signals. If they notice too many passengers leaving their phones on, the crew might make an announcement asking everyone to double-check their settings. In rare cases, airline staff might remind specific passengers to switch their devices. Should you use airplane mode outside of flying? Absolutely. Airplane mode has several practical uses beyond just air travel. Battery saver. If your battery is low and you don't need internet, switching to airplane mode can make your phone last longer. Faster charging. Need a quick charge? Airplane mode speeds up the process. Focus mode. Turning on airplane mode helps eliminate distractions when you need to concentrate. Roaming protection. If you're traveling internationally and don't want unexpected charges, airplane mode prevents your phone from connecting to foreign networks. So what really happens when you put your phone in airplane mode? It stops sending and receiving wireless signals, saves battery, and prevents potential interference with the plane systems. While modern aircraft are better protected against electronic interference, airlines still require it as a safety measure. Whether you're on a flight, trying to save battery, or just looking for some peace and quiet, airplane mode is more useful than you might think. So next time you turn it on, you'll know exactly what's happening and why it's a small but important part of air travel. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.